What's going on guys? You guys are watching Diesel Dude 71. This is the new truck right here that my dad just purchased. Um it's a really nice looking truck as you guys can tell. And yeah, I know that you guys are gonna enjoy it a lot. I mean look at it. It's, it's amazing looking. You can see up in the bed and everything. I mean it's just a perfect truck. Yeah, there you go. Two, three, jump! I'm actually, it's weird because I'm not really tired anymore because I think the monster's working. Oof. Um, so I'm going to be going to work with my dad tomorrow like I did last Saturday, right? Yeah, last Saturday. Yeah, I think. Pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, last Saturday. Um, and there's going to be something I'm pretty sure will be in tomorrow's video. So I think there's going to be, the videos are going to be a little bit different. So I think tomorrow's video is going to be um, something new that we're going to be revealing on the channel. As long as my dad says it's okay. So it's either going to be tomorrow or it'll be later on. I'm not sure. It depends on what he says. If he says, sure, why not? Then it'll happen tomorrow. And if not, it'll happen later on. But we're going to have something cool coming to the channel. And you might be able to see it t tomorrow. Well, in this video, probably. I don't know. I, I don't know yet. It's either going to be in this video or in another video. I, I don't know. All I know is we got something cool really cool and I'm super excited for it and I hope you guys are as well oh, oh. and I'll see you guys in the morning peace out oh god it's gonna be so cool what is up I gotta get dressed real quick and then we're gonna hit the road I mean it's like a 10 15 minute drive but still I'm hyped I hope you guys are as well oh it's gonna be such a good day oh, let's go you guys are watching Diesel Dude 71. We're up at my uncle's shop, um, and I honestly don't know what we're doing anymore. I'm in my uncle's Ranger. Um, yeah, it's a really nice truck, and honestly, I'd like to do a review on it sometime soon. I'll talk to my uncle about it, so maybe the next, maybe once the weather gets nice, you know, because the wintertime kind of sucks for doing reviews and stuff. So maybe if it's around, I think, I think I'll probably keep it around, but in like the springtime when it gets warmer, or if we have like a nice warm day. Then I'll, um, do a review on it. I know corey has been wanting me to do a review on it. I mean, I want to do a review on it. It's a really, really awesome truck. And it's in, like, really good condition, too. So, yeah, I mean, I would totally, totally review it. It's funny, because, uh, right next to me is my dad's new truck that I haven't showed you guys yet. Huh. Well, that's the point of the video. Now, I'm not sure if I'm gonna park up somewhere at the shop or from i don't know where yet somewhere i'm gonna review it and reveal it first reveal and then review reveal then review remember that um yeah so we're at the shop just kind of one of those saturdays this is like this is a really nice truck it's a automatic it's got i love the interior honestly like it's so comfortable the seats are really comfortable it's a nice truck, honestly. I wouldn't mind having a Ranger uh, as a daily driver. I mean, in the, you know, summertime and when the weather's nice. I mean, there is four-wheel drive Rangers, but I don't know if there's four-wheel drive manuals. I mean, there probably is. I just haven't seen any on Craigslist. But there was this one. Hang on, I gotta sneeze. Anyways, there was this one I saw on Craigslist last night for, like, 1900 bucks, which, honestly, is probably worth, like, 1500 But it was a five-speed, 3-liter uh, V6 with a locking rear end. It was it was blue. It's a southern truck, so there's like no rust. Cab corners, rocker panel, everything was like mint on that truck. It looked really nice. And I'm kind of talking to my dad about maybe getting it on the channel, you know. That was a little bit of a project. Because five speed. So it's a manual Ranger. Locking rear end. That'd be a nice truck. That'd be a really nice truck. And yeah, Corey's like, oh, come on, buy it, man. I'm like, hey, I don't have the money. But I've been talking to my dad, and I think that I might be able to convince him. I mean, it's re it's cheap. Like, I could get... Like, there's more expensive four-wheelers I've wanted, so... Might pull the trigger on it. I don't know. It's really, really nice, though. So I'll see you guys in a bit when we reveal this uh nice, fine piece of automotive -ness. That's a word. Next to me. I'll see you guys in a bit. Peace out. 
All right, guys, so what's up? Um, here's going to be the official reveal of the truck. Yes, the new truck that we just got on the channel. Oh, God, it's so, uh, so awesome. Oh, just this angle, like, kills. All right, so introducing my dad's new truck. What? That is right, guys. It is, of course, a Silverado. Yes, we got a Silverado back on the channel. We have the 96 and the 16. This is a 2016. I'm pretty sure my brother's Snapchatting me right now. Me filming. Whatever. This is a 2016 Chevy Silverado double cab. It's pretty base, but I mean, it has four-wheel drive. And I love these rims, honestly. They're kind of growing on me a little bit. It's freezing out here. Like, absolutely freezing, but whatever. It's okay. Like the rims, and the best part about it no chrome on the front here at all. No chrome. It's all color matched. And even when you get all the color matched, sometimes this is still chrome. This is black. It's like that plastic, but whatever. It's like all across, it's all color matched. Um, it's got these, pla it's still the plastic ones. My dad's thinking about getting a set of um, the newest gen tow mirrors for it because it's gonna need tow mirrors for the trailer. I don't know if you guys know, but we have a enclosed trailer, so it's gonna need that. Um, my dad and I already installed this solid fold 2.0 bed cover. It's the same one that we have on the Colorado, his work truck. Same company, love them. They're really good covers, and they're, you know, they're not like those soft ones. I'm sorry, it's freezing out here. But yeah, they're solid. You can just brush them off in the wintertime. But, guys. This truck is so, so good. It's so, like, I love it. Like, I literally love it. So, oh, it's, it's amazing, honestly. The sunset behind it, yeah. So this is the truck, guys. The 2016, yes, it's used. Um, my dad got it from a dealership in Rutland, Vermont. Got it for like 22, geez, 23,000, something like that. Around there, I think is what he was saying. So wicked good deal on the truck. It's 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 amazing, honestly. So the next things we're gonna do is we're gonna um, we're blacking out these the emblems, the Chevy emblem on the front and the back here, and we're either blacking these out, you know, the, the silver auto badges, or taking them off. Not sure yet. Not sure what my dad's gonna do, but oh, this is gonna be cool. So I'm talking to my dad, and we're gonna kind of keep this. A light build per se build you know like what we do with the 96 we didn't do much except for I think we only did an exhaust honestly that's the only power mod we did was an exhaust so yeah and uh oh, it's literally freezing out here I'm sorry so the only thing we're gonna do with this really is probably an exhaust and I don't know if it's, it will either be it'll probably be something pretty loud I mean the 96 is loud so it'll either be Loud or quiet? What do you guys think? I'm thinking pretty loud. So, cold air intake and exhaust, that's really all I think that my dad wants to do. And it's not gonna happen right away, that'll happen down the road, you know, we're gonna get used to it. Just drive it how it is. Then we'll do some stuff to it in a, in a bit. And I gotta tell you guys, this is an awesome truck. As you guys can see, that's where Rutland Ram. Yeah, oh, it's gonna, it's gonna be awesome. So it is, it is a double cab, guys. And let's get into the interior a little bit. I'll show you guys around. Honestly, I love this hood. I gotta show you from the inside the view of the hood. So yeah, in the interior now. And um, as you guys can see the hood, you guys can see like, I love the hoods on these trucks. Uh, it's got the third seat right here. As you guys can tell, you know, this folds. So yeah, that's where I'm spending my time most of the time. But it's got a bigger screen than in my grandpa's truck and he has a 15 Sierra and it's smaller than the new ones. So, I think there's a way you can put in the big one, and I think my dad's gonna do that. Um, let's show Miles here, I have the keys in my pocket. Uh, let's show Miles, I think it's not too many. So you guys can see there, 34,313 miles. It was a lease before, my dad bought this truck, so it was a lease before. So there's not too many miles on it. We gotta turn the radio down for copyright, obviously. 
But yeah, I mean, usually you'd see four-wheel drive up here, but it's got it down here in the lever. So you pull down for four high, all the way up to four low, and then there's like a neutral state. Just like in my grandpa's truck, it's so, I honestly think it's better the manual versus electronic, because electronic seems to brake easier. So yeah, I mean, it's like a really, really amazing truck. Now let's turn on the lights, and we'll get an outside shot. It is getting dark, but it's power windows, power locks, power mirrors. It's, it's a really good truck, honestly. It really is a good truck. Oh. Yeah. As you guys can see, those are just the running lights, I think. Or no, those might be... I don't know, honestly. I I don't know. I'm still in shock. Yeah, this is the, this is such a nice truck. Like, it's perfect. As you guys can see in the back, it is a double cab, so it is kind of small. Seats are up. My backpack, my dad's backpack, whatever. Some other stuff. The seats, they fold up like this. And it doesn't have the underseat storage like in the newer trucks. But... It really is, a, it's an amazing truck. And I'll show you guys in the, in the bed here. Now it doesn't have the soft open tailgate. It is a pretty, it's a fairly heavy tailgate, but just like, you know, my grandpa's truck, whatever. So you guys can see here we have the box from the from the tonneau cover. And it doesn't have, it's all sealed. I think we have a bed mat at my house that we're gonna put in it. Um, so bed mat, tow mirrors, the main things that's gonna happen recent in the um couple weeks or so i think it doesn't have plates or anything on it they're all dealer dealer tags or whatever so yeah not a whole lot that we're gonna do with it but you know what? we can get in and go for a little bit of drive i guess just around the yard here just around my uncle's yard um yeah so let's go for a little bit of a drive i'm just gonna set you guys up like right here let's go for a little bit of a drive i suppose I'm gonna put it down into manual, manual one. And we're gonna pull on out right, look right here. It is a really nice truck, guys, and I really, really do enjoy it. It's the first time I've driven it. And I am a responsible driver, do not worry about that. Now we're gonna go down here, and we'll flip around. Nah, actually we won't, we won't do that yet. We'll just drive around the yard a little bit. Oh, the sunset, that looks really beautiful. I really like that. I might try to get an Instagram picture for you guys. But nobody guessed it. The only person who knows before this video is, oh, is Corey. He's the only person who knows. Hang on, I gotta, I'll set you guys up better, don't worry. And then, yeah, just put you here. So anyways, Corey is the only person who knows about this truck that I have told that follows my YouTube channel. He's actually turned out to be like one of my good friends. So, yeah. It is a really nice truck though, like, I'm really digging it. My dad likes it, it's perfect for both of us. So yeah. Yep. Alright, you guys. Alright, we're gonna pull in here real quick. Park it back up where it was. Yeah. Pull it right back in next to the Ranger. So, yeah. That is it. Sweet. Alright, so this is the truck, as you guys know. That is the 96 over there. That is now my brother's truck. That's like its big sister. You know, it's what, 20 years older. It's like its older sister, you know? It's, it's more square, it's more rounded. The older sister. That's my grandpa's truck, which is a 2015 Sierra. So it's you no, know, that's like it's steps stepsister. You know, you know, because it's Chevy GMC. It's like it's stepsister. You know, you know, you know, you know. So I gotta I'm gonna wrap this up, and I'll I'm gonna finish the video when I get home. Home, but I gotta say some more things here. Ugh. So yeah, let's wrap this video up here. Uh. Well, wrap up what I'm gonna film here, anyways. So basically, yeah. Every time, I swear. All right. So basically, I forgot a couple things. So I'm gonna go over what I can remember off the top of my head right now that we are gonna do with this. Whew. All right. I need light. Turn back on. 
All right, that's perfect. Um, so what we're gonna be doing is, I wanna say the things that are gonna happen soon. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of this company, Speed Turtle. They make um, this thing that you pro you program and you put it into the OBD OBD2 part. Is that how you say it? You know where you like would plug in your scanner to read codes and stuff and clear codes and that, and where you plug in for diagnostics. Or if you had a tuner, where you would plug in to tune that port. Um, plug it in there, and it's wired into your. Um, your beacon light on the back is wired in for that so you would flip the switch like I just did I don't know if you can tell that that turned on and it you can either have them so they all your lights blink together or they blink, it makes it look like like on a cop car honestly it's what it makes it that's what I think of it makes it look like it's a cop car oh it's gonna be sick my dad has the kit we're not gonna put it on probably until Next weekend or the weekend after? Yeah, because dad's going on a trip, going out to Ohio for work, so won't see him for a little bit, but he's good to drive this, put some more miles on it, make some more memories. It'll be okay. And yeah, this video is one of my favorite videos in a long time, honestly. So, Speed Turtle, I think it's 3.0. That, um, we're gonna get, he's getting it tinted, the whole truck tinted. And it's gonna be like the back, this, like the front windows and back windows and the very, very back window is all gonna be dark. And then he's gonna put, and then they're gonna put a big strip on it, like a big tint banner on the front. Guys, this truck, when it comes back, when you guys see it, um, he, he said he might get it done out when he goes out on his trip. So it might come back tinted, I don't know yet, but it's gonna be awesome. So we're gonna put that on the speed turtle to be tinted. There'll be a reveal of those coming soon. Um, oh yeah, also tinting the taillights. That's what he's if Yeah, also gonna tint the taillights. That'll be something to do is tint the taillights. Uh anything else I can think of. Oh yeah, tow mirrors. So tow mirrors, speed turtle. Tint. That'll be nice. And then down the road. Probably, probably cold air intake, maybe not, but cold air intake, exhaust, yeah, cold air intake, exhaust, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be cool, it's gonna be louder, it's gonna, cause honestly the 5.3s, like this is a 5.3 liter V8, the 5.3s are nasty when you open them up and let them rip, when you put on an exhaust, so, it's gonna be awesome, honestly, it's gonna be really, really awesome when that happens, so honestly, I can't wait to show you guys when we get the new modifications on. I'm, I'm like, mm -hmm. it's gonna be awesome and I hope you guys are pumped like I am. Guys, I'm, I'm literally just excited out of my mind, to be honest. And I'm freezing, so I'm like shivering a lot. But, whoa, those lights are bright. Wow, yeah. So anyways, I'm not gonna just keep on talking randomly here. I will see you guys in a bit. I'm gonna go talk to my grandmother and grandfather and stuff for a bit. I'll see you guys later. So peace out for a bit. I'll see you guys in like a second for you guys. Hey guys, go. The new truck. Um, I don't really know what else to say. I mean, this is gonna wrap up this video. It's longer than I plan on it being. But yeah, hey guys, go. I mean, we'll do a little bit of a walk around real quick, even though I already did the whole time in this video when I was out at the shop. But yeah, when my uh, dad gets back from the trip, either, cause like I said, he's either getting it tinted out on when he goes on his trip. Or when he comes back, it's going to be done up shortly after. So we'll see. But it looks really good. I mean, I love it, honestly. Like, this front end and this angle is, like, the best, in my opinion. So I'll see you guys 
in the next video. I wanted to wrap it up right here with the Silverado. So I'll see you guys in the next video. We still need to come up with a name for it because with the other truck, we had the 90, we call it either the 96 or the S Silverado. I don't know. We call it the 96. So I don't know what. Leave your, leave your comment suggestion, leave your name suggestions down below in the comments for what we should name this thing. I'll see you guys later. Like, literally, this, like, look at the hood though. Like, it's all scary. <laughs> just got scared by the dog. But yeah, look. Like, I don't know, I just love the hood on this truck. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Leave your name suggestions down below. I will see you guys next time. So peace out, and let's roll the outro, guys.